All right, everyone. Uh, so today we're going to do uh, retention cohorts. So retention cohorts are charts <clears throat> that uh, that looks something like this. So we're going to build like um, a retention cohort uh, from data. So how would you write a SQL for this? So I have some um, test um, data from in this customers and usage table. So let me just show you like what I have. <clears throat> this data two customers limit 10. So uh, 10. So it has customer ID and sign up date and channel. And the other table that I have is a usage table which is customer ID and event date, action type, and customer count. So we want to we want to create um, a retention cohort uh, by sign up weeks. So for each sign up week, for example, for this is each sign up week, uh, we want to have the retention like you know uh, from from the day they sign up, like, you know, then uh, after some days, seven days or 10 days or 14 days and whatsoever. So here we are going to use a uh, 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 cohort size uh, or um, retention by week. So uh, retention rate by every uh, seven days. So first we're going to use um, Use a signups, signups as um, as a CTE where basically we're gonna get the signup week from uh, from test data to dot customers. Um, so basically, we're gonna use a date trunk function. Um, this is sign up sign up date, and then we use the week. As a sign up week, comma customer ID. So basically, we are getting, we are basically just getting, you know, for each customer, what is what is their sign up week. <clears throat> now uh, and then, we're gonna take the actions. So actions as um, test data two dot usage group by why am i grouping by just to get the distinct so um this is again we have event date so date trunk so event date is the is the date expression so event date and this is week and this is event event week and then this is customer ID. So uh, for we need the date uh, week because we're using sign up week as your date um, the date part. So now we're gonna do a left join to basically check how many customers that sign up in a special in a specific week showed up in. Uh, in this, um, in, in any given event week. So for example, <clears throat> so let's look at this. So basically this customer 
for example customers and event week is like action they're taking uh, let's just take one customer um, where customer id equal to so this customer has different events on different week okay and we also know when did they sign up right so i can do a left join uh, with sign up from sign up and let's call it this we'll do an aliasing s and a on is dot customer id and a dot customer id Let's see what we get. So, so let's see. So this customer has a signed up on 5.30, the week of 5.30, 2021-5.30. And then it had, then it had uh, some events on um, 2021 6 6 6 13 27 S seems like it is fairly active over time so if I have to count the retention I would say um, I would I would create um, dead buckets like on an interval of like uh, interval retention every seven days so you're gonna check for every seven days whether or not they had an they had a uh, activity or not so how would you do that so we can just create a dead diff update underscore diff um, event week and then sign up week and then day um, and we can say days from sign up and then we can say the days from sign up and then uh, and then uh, s star and uh, our a dot star so let's see what it shows <clears throat> so now we have days from sign up is zero and this is days for sign up is seven because it is hap the event is happening on sixth days for sign up days from sign up is six uh, 13 the uh, days from sign up is 14 and so on and so forth as you can see different days of sign so <clears throat> different days from sign up uh, the longer length of sign up is going over time so and then we are seeing um, we are seeing uh, the actions taken uh, on that date so for example on 49 date like it is some action cool um <clears throat> so now we can convert this days from sign up to um week from sign up so let's see because we're doing on week so week one week two there is there is no action on week three so three is missing so five six seven eight nine so ten is missing so fairly consistent cool Okay, now um, we want we want to um, count. Let's say we want to count um, <clears throat> count distinct s dot customer ID as customers and count distinct a dot customer ID as retained. So basically counting. Okay, um, so we have, we are, we are looking at uh, for each, uh, for, for this customer, uh, for um, the interval from which they have signed up. Um, and then we are just counting, you know, how many customers, obviously there's one customer. So um, 
So basically, it has it had you know uh, activity in these days, but uh, we're doing a left join over here. So we want to like so in this remember in, in this cohort it has like the is like one entry for one customer. So pro probably it has like you know the uh, the sign up date is twenty twenty one zero five something and then user ID. So if you join this with uh, with with this action table like you know if it whatever there is a user id it will just join so right now and then so in order to like find the retention whether they had an activity after the sign up date we have to like add one more condition so, so basically we'll say the event week event week is greater than the sign up date so did it take any action after it's it, it signed up um sign up week Um, now it should run. So now um, over here, like, you know, it's just saying, yes, they have, this is all the actions that after after um, that week, that's why we have this uh, different breakup. But this is at a customer level. Now, if we just remove their customer ID and just do with, a, uh, with the sign up week, so for one cohort, uh, we will see some interesting results. So it should give me a count of all customers that that uh, uh, that are like you know present um, rather than equal to uh, on every uh, every week from the sign up week and grouped by different from the weeks from sign up. So on the zeroth week, like total number of customers that signed up is one six eight seven. And then from after one week, only 800 customer had an action. After two weeks, 662 took an action and so on and so forth. So uh, we can do order by, order by one. So we know what's happening exactly. Okay, cool. So we have zero one to zero three week is the starting week. All right, so this means like, you know, the customers are taking action after that, um, equal or after that sign up week. So this is my retention. This is my retention um, uh, retention CTE. Okay. So now we need to calculate um, from the sign up week from this sign up week, what percentage of them are um, retained? So this is 100% retained. So how can we do this? So one way to do this is just, just create a, uh, a cohort CTE, uh, which is basically um, the sign up week and count distinct customer, customer ideas, uh, cohort size, Cohort size. Now I'm gonna use. You can use either either uh, this table, this table, or this table. Uh, sign up table. So I think I'm gonna use sign up table because it's easier. Sign up uh, group by one. Okay. Now you have the cohort size. Now you're just gonna join this back over here to this one. So we're gonna do a quick inner join uh, from cohort. Cohort C as a join with a retention R on C dot sign up date, sorry, sign up week and R dot sign up week. Okay, so this is retention. Now we are just adding one more table. Uh, we just want the uh, cohort size. So uh, from C, I want the cohort size, and from R, I want everything, so R star. So you get the cohort size, week sign up, and uh, retention. Maybe, you know what, I will have the cohort size at the end, so that uh, actually um, we can rewrite what, what we want. So R dot, uh, uh, we can write as sign up week. 
sign up week and then r dot uh, weeks from sign up and then we can create uh, retained divide by cohort size as percentage retained so this is just gonna have like three column <clears throat> so sign up week week from sign up and then uh, percentage retained on the zero week is 94 percent that is interesting it should be 100 percent hmm I am confused. Okay, one seven nine four. So within one week, we only have. So within the seven week, like after, after signing up, only 94% actually had taken any action. So that's what it means. Got it. Cool. I think um, we have what we need. Now we just need to remove this filter and expand it to ex uh, to all other, all other cohorts. Um, there we go. Um, now your table is ready. Now you can create this chart using Sheet. Google Sheets is a, is a good way to do this um, and then you can just do a pivot table um, your your rows are basically your uh, weeks from sign up and your columns are the uh, sign up week their cohort and your values are basically percentage retained uh, once you do that uh, da, 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 and then you um, so I don't know why is this filter coming from week from sign up is showing on idle it has to be greater than zero I don't know where this null is coming from so you apply and to wait change it to percentages and then you insert a chart you insert a line chart and automatically breaks it by, by cohort so these are a different cohort for signups this is from the week from sign up so uh, first week, um, second week, fourth week, and whatnot. And this is your retention chart. Um, retention by cohort. That's it. Um, I hope you found this uh, video helpful. Um, do you have any thoughts? Please leave a comment or give it a like if you think it is helpful. Thank you. Bye.